Prince Charles' rule is under question as Australian Republicans finalise plans to ditch the British monarchy. Australia was under the rule of the British Empire until 1901, at which point the Commonwealth of Australia was formed. Since then the nation has been a constitutional monarchy, but remained under the dominion of the royal family. As for the British monarchy, Prince Charles is next in the line of succession to become King of England but despite this, his ruling in the Commonwealth is under question as Australian Republicans finalise plans to ditch the British monarchy. Liberal MP Dr Katie Allen spoke to Sky News Australia this week and discussed the antipathy in nation's plans. Ms Allen said, the question is will we become a republic? I think so, sometime in the future but not necessarily now. I actually don't buy into the particular model. I think the Australian people love the Queen and think that the Australian Republic movement is aware that she's quite old now so they are getting ahead of themselves. The Liberal MP said, I think we need to wait to see in the future what King Charles and Queen Camilla will be like as leaders at, at that point, I think, looking at what models are on offer. She concluded, this model does not seem quite right to me. Also speaking on the show, TV host Chris Smith said, if the public wants to cut from the monarchy, they can go ahead and do so. We will determine that from numerous public polls. He expressed, but, leave the system as it is, allow the Prime Minister to chose the President, we have never really had a bad Governor General. He or she, has done that many times with the Governor General. I have been pretty happy with the outcome. The Queen is not only head of state in the UK and Australia but also in 15 other countries. These include Canada, Jamaica, and New Zealand. Barbados was also part of this list but in November, Her Majesty was formally removed as head of state there and Prince Charles was in attendance at the handover ceremony as guest of honour. Speculation swept through the island nations, with many wanting to follow in Barbados' footsteps and end their association with Britain as a colonial power. It now looks like Australia could follow suit. Republican sentiments in Australia are not new with the country having held a referendum on the issue in 1999. Professor Hocking, who was previously on the National Committee of the Australian Republic Movement, has stressed that a new model for how the Republic would work will be proposed this year. The academic spoke in November and said, it's certainly the case that things are moving in terms of proposing another model. But it does require a referendum for us to put to all Australians to support a move towards a republic. We've just seen that with Barbados. You could see there it's by no means a symbolic move. It's a move that makes a huge constitutional shift.